Bip, bap, bap. What's up, everybody? This is Rev Sanity. Thank you so much for checking my channel out. My gas light just came on. This is a wonderful day. That's fine. This is fine. So today, I am going out here to fulfill my American duty and to vote. You know, I was about this close to not voting because of the current political environment and just the mud swinging and everybody's like, uh, well, my opponent does this wrong and uh, let me tell you exactly what he did. He did this and this and this. And I'm like, alright, come on, man. I don't want to hear you smut sling the other opponent. Yeah, don't ever use the word smut around me again. You're not smart. And if y'all watch the debate, you know who I'm talking about. First of all, my man's got a PhD and you have a bachelor's. I don't care if he graduated at the bottom of his class. The man's not an idiot. And then the other guy denies things that have gone on in his family when it's public record. And I'm sitting here watching the debates like, come on guys, for the, for the second time back to back, these are the two best candidates that America has got to deal with. So I was about that close to not voting. And then somebody can put it in perspective for me. I have some friends that are uh, from families of immigrants from kind of like the Argentina area and south of the border in general. You know, they said that you don't really understand the freedom that you have to be able to vote until you live in a country where you're told who to vote for. It kind of hit me a little bit, to be honest with you. I was like, man, like I never really thought about being an American that way. Just because, you know, we're, we live our life day to day just in this, uh, in this state of limbo, like, because we know no different and we're just waiting for the, we're waiting for the next person to tell us what to do or the next government official or the next boss or you know we're always we're always waiting for direction because we don't have a good history of making choices for ourselves so i sat and i sat and i thought and i was like you know what i'm actually going to go vote today and i'm actually going to choose a candidate who i actually uh, align with I'm not going to tell you who I vote for, or who I voted for, who I'm going to go vote for in the future. But I'm just saying, do your research, and uh, you know, like, get educated about about the way that the government works, about who your local leaders are, especially, and reach out to your congressmen and your senators. I actually reached out to our congressman uh, last year, reached out to him twice, actually. Turns out he's a big cannabis supporter and he's a Republican. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. That's pretty cool, man. I just want to know whenever, uh, whenever Ford is going to be decriminalized. There were two organizations. One was Normal, N O R M L. And the other one, I don't remember what the other one was, like Grow Florida or something like that. They were both trying to get signatures. They're doing both like spending money and doing rallies and stuff around the state of Florida to try to get enough signatures to get recreational cannabis on the ballot this year. Didn't happen. It takes like 700 and something thousand signatures or something like that. Point being, so I sent him a long email, you know, try to make it out really nice and professional sounding and try to, you know, let him know as a, as a concerned citizen of his district. This is what I wanted to see in my, in our district or in our state really. And uh, it turns out he's like, yeah, you know, I absolutely, I mean, first of all, he sent me an email back. It looked like it was just copy and pasting all the bills and stuff he's supported and whatnot, but now, nah, dude, he is totally down with cannabis, man. And like, you know, he's like, it's, it's negative affected, negatively affected uh, minorities, and it's negatively been, it's been a negative stigma for far too long. We have other things that we have to, we should be spending our money on instead of locking up people for minor drug charges. And I'm like, well, shoot, man, why don't you talk? To your constituents about this or your uh your fellow congress members so that was a good sign for me and um that's really the biggest thing i want to vote for you know like i want to vote for somebody who is you know pro rights for far too long we've kind of limited people's rights based on what our ideas of morality is in my opinion and this is just me talking i believe that morality is subjective because you look at other you look at other countries and you know 
They think it's okay to stone and kill gay people just because they're gay. And over here, the homosexual community went a long time without being able to marry who they wanted to marry. And I don't think that any government should be able to tell anybody, no, you can't marry who you want to marry, love you want to love, or even partake in whatever substance you want to partake in. We glorify alcohol. How many beer commercials do you see? My, my thing is, if somebody wants to screw their life up with, with alcohol, they should be able to, you know, for lack of a better word, screw their lives up with anything else they want to partake in. I don't think that cannabis is bad at all. I'm, I'm a huge supporter. Huge. It's great times. But I don't think that the government should intervene with somebody's life's decisions. So whenever he emailed me back, I was like, all right, that's that's pretty awesome. Like, I appreciate the, the enthusiasm with the... With the, with the response, but like I want to see you campaign on those things too, right? So my whole point of this rant is Do your research. Do your research on your local governments. Do your, do your research on your local politicians Because the change at the top isn't going to be made until you start making changes at the bottom I think political parties are stupid I mean, he's a Joe Rogan fan. If you ever watch his stand-up on Netflix, he talks about how the, uh, the Office of Presidency is a dumb job. There's no reason why an 80-year-old person should be able to tell people in their 20s and 30s what laws apply to them or should apply to them and what's best for them as a nation. You know, that's why it's imperative to kind of get some younger blood up in there, man. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna show my support for the candidate that I am voting for. We get so caught up in trying to like go against Trump supporters or Biden supporters or Antifa and Black Lives Matter and stuff that we forget to that we forget to you know humanize them and realize that they are also people. And then after I vote, I'm gonna go over here to Lowe's. I got to return a couple of items, and then I have to pick up a couple of items. I gotta give me some industrial strength, the Velcro, so that I can mount this external recorder. That's right. I didn't say Siri. I don't Say Siri. <laughs> How about a web search for it? No. Be the change you wish to see in the world, right? All the inspirational quotes out there is probably one of the most quoted, but seriously, like if you sit and think about it, be the change that you wish to see in the world. You know, some of y'all might be watching, you might be in school, you might be at a job, you might think, oh my god, my teacher sucks, my my boss sucks. I just want to get out of here. I hear you. I was there too. I'm recognizing that there's only so much that I can change, right? And so like start with yourself, right? So if you want to see things change in your immediate environment, what are the things that you can make your life better right now? If you don't change your mindset about things that are around you, you're not going to be the change that you wish to see in the world. And that's not like criticizing anybody, that's just like recognize the things about yourself that could be different. Like, especially with attitudes, right? So like how many times have we like gotten mad over something simple i often have to check myself and be like okay why am i getting upset like what is the reason why i'm upset am I, is it because i'm impatient is it because i'm not communicating something correctly so that's all it's about man it's just chilling you know chill vibe with the right people vibe with the wrong people too though man because you never know you just never know what the impact you're going to make on somebody oh there they are there's the trump supporters all right let's go vote this thing all right there we go fulfilled my americana duty oh dang i gotta get gas too fudge i didn't even bring an extra battery so it might die all right you guys well i want to bounce on out of here head back to the house do a little bit of running around tell you what if you wouldn't mind helping me out by liking subscribing and pushing the notification bell on your on your screen right there that really helps the channel out it helps me keep engaged with you guys Please, yeah, give me a give me give me a follow and stuff on my Instagram as well. See what I'm about. I'm gonna start posting some more on there. Try to be more a little more engaging. But yeah, appreciate you watching. Keep it up. Stay decent. Peace.